All right. Well, the big question, yeah, at the end of yesterday's article or dialogue was, how badly did Phoebe hurt her wrist? Oh. Now, do you want the good know. news or do you want the bad news? Uh. Good news. The good news is we don't have to wait very long、okay. to get the answer. How badly did Phoebe hurt her wrist? We are going to find out really quickly. Okay. Because the first sentence of today's <laughs> dialogue tells us Phoebe enters the doctor's office. Okay. Now, That sounds she, serious. Yeah. She hurt her wrist just a minute ago or yesterday. Now she, I think she's pretty badly hurt. Oh. Or maybe、mm-hmm. she got pregnant. But I think it's probably her wrist. Okay, yeah, that's her wrist. Yeah, yeah. that's、okay. not good. Okay. 今天的场景已经不在健身房里了，因为 Phoebe 受伤啦。那她在哪里呢 ？Phoebe 进到医生的诊间里。医生的 office 我们就可以解释成诊间。Oh, I've never hurt my wrist, but that would be bad. I mean, you use your wrist for a lot, right? Usually, moms hurt their wrists. Oh, that's true. Because they hold their babies. Moms, maybe chefs, people who use their hands、yeah. a lot, but. I mean, think about it. Getting dressed would be hard. Brushing your teeth would be hard. Pulling on your socks—you don't want to、mm. hurt your wrist. It's kind of important, anyway. So the doctor there hopefully will be helping her. But first, the doctor needs to find out what's wrong. So he says, "Hello, Phoebe," and then he asks her the question, "What's bothering you? What's bothering you? What's wrong? Why are you here in my office?" Okay, yeah. To bother, well, to bother can be sort of like to annoy. Someone like I'm like, hey Celine, hey you want to talk to me later? And、okay. she's trying to work. I'm really bothering her. She's like, stop, shut up, leave me alone.、Yeah. Now that's if a person's bothering you. But if your body is hurt in some way, we can also use bother in that、mm-hmm. way. Now my wrist isn't like, hey, hey, I'm paying attention to me, but it is hurting me. It is stopping me from being happy, stopping me from concentrating on my normal life. So. It's a problem that I want to take care of. It's、yes. bothering me, so yeah, go to the doctor. Okay, 医生就说 Phoebe, 你好，你怎么了呢？哎，我们直接解释 bother. Bother 其实是困扰的意思，所以整句话意思说什么事情在困扰也令困扰你，也就是医生在问你说，哎，哪里痛，哪里让你困扰的意思。All right. Well, Phoebe, of course, is going to say hello back. So she says hello, Doctor Martin, and then she tells the doctor what is bothering her. She says my wrist hurts. Yeah, that's it. That's what happened. Remember at the gym. So that's what's bothering her. Her wrist. It hurts. Okay. 看来 Phoebe 是这间这个诊所常客。她说：“你好啊，马丁医生，我的手腕痛。” Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And hurt. A very important word if we're talking about doctors or our body or you know things like that. Hurt is a verb and it's spelled H-U-R-T. Hurt. Okay, to hurt is basically to feel pain. All right, if something hurts, that means you're feeling pain. That means it's probably injured or sick in some way. All right, so we always say something something hurts. All right, generally a part of your body. Your tooth hurts. You have a toothache. Your head hurts. You have a headache. Your stomach hurts. You have a stomach ache. So if you're feeling pain, some part of your body. Hurts at that moment. For example, Doris. Ooh, Doris fell down yesterday, and her leg still hurts. Ouch! Doris fell down yesterday. Bang! And her leg still hurts. Careful, Doris. Hurt 在这边呢是动词，意思呢是疼痛。那记得它的三态是一样的，就是 hurt, hurt, and hurt。那例句的意思呢就是说 ，Doris 昨天跌倒了，她的腿还在痛。Okay, so the doctor is going to see what he can do. But first, of course, he has to look at her wrist, see if he can notice anything. So he says, "Let me take a look." And you can imagine Dora sort of holding out her wrist, and he he probably holds it gently, and and then starts to move it a little bit just to see what is okay、uh-huh. and what isn't. And as he does that, he says, "Does it hurt when I do this?" And he might squeeze it or. Move it a little bit, Bend it. and I guess at that point, at some point, it really hurts because Phoebe says "ouch" again, and that's、uh, as we mentioned yesterday, "ouch" or 
ow or something like that.、Mm. That's what you say when something hurts, when you feel pain. So yeah, it hurts. We have confirmation. Hmm. Isan 就说让我来看看 Let me take a look. 我这样做的时候会痛吗？他可能就在搬动他的手腕啊。那你有没有看过医生？那医生一定要搞清楚你哪里痛，哪里不舒服嘛。所以常常听到这句话 Does it hurt when I do this? 这样子。那看来 Phoebe 很痛哦。他又说 Ouch. Hmm. So now the doctor knows how serious it is. Um, he asks her a good question, so he's saying, "Hmm." He's kind of looking and thinking and learning more, and then he asks her, "What happened?" In other words, "How did you do this? Tell me about yesterday. Tell me about all the actions and events that caused you to hurt your wrist, or more simply, what happened." And happen is a verb. To happen is spelled H-A-P-P-E-N. Happen. Okay, to happen is very similar to another word, occur. O c c u r. Now these are slightly hard words to explain, but basically, when something goes on, when there's an action, when a verb takes place, if you want to talk about it like English, then something happens. Okay, it can be something really important, like the president came to our school and made a speech. Wow, that happened today. That went on today. That occurred today. That's a pretty big thing to happen, but. It could also be like, yeah, I dropped my milk last night. That happened. It could be a good thing. Could be a bad thing. Could be an important thing. Could be something that's really not news at all. But as long as there's an action, as long as there is an event, as long as something occurs, then something happens. And of course, the important things that happen, we read about those in the news. The things that might happen to you. Well, maybe you tell your friends, or put it on Facebook, or Instagram, or something like that. It's an action. It's an event that has occurred. For example, what happened last night? I saw many police officers in front of your house. What happened last night? I saw many police officers in front of your house. Sounds like something serious happened. Okay, 那我们刚刚看到 happen 是动词，意思是发生。那最常使用的状况就是问别人发生了什么事情。What happened? 像今天文章里 Doctor Martin 问的这个样子哦。那例句的意思就是说，昨晚发生什么事了？我看见你房房子前有许多警察 ，a lot of police officers. Hmm. Yeah, something serious happened. Something、mm. more serious than Doris, or sorry, Phoebe. Hurting her wrist, but let's get back to Phoebe and her wrist. So the doctor asked her what happened, what occurred, or in other words, how did you hurt your wrist? What were you doing? And so Phoebe, she explains. She says the coach told me to do a push-up, but I fell. I felt my wrist bend back. Ooh, yeah, that does、mm. hurt. I did that when I was a kid playing football. Okay. I think my fingers. So did you visit doctor? My fingers touched my arm. No, I went home and my mom put sticks on it and wrapped it in tape. <laughs> But she was a nurse, so I guess that was the thing、ah. to do. Anyway, so she explains. I tried to do this exercise. I fell, and then imagine her wrist. It bent back, and I can't okay, go that, much that further than that. And if you do, okay, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's、okay, 接下来 Phoebe 就说说明了，她说为什么手腕会受伤啊？教练叫我做一个伏地挺身，但我摔倒了，我感觉到我的手腕往后弯了哦。Oh, tell somebody to do something 就是吩咐某人去做某事的意思，有点像是在下指令了。All right, so she said she felt her wrist bend back. She probably also felt pain. And here we have this verb feel. F E E L. As I said, it's a verb, and it is feel. So feel, yes, is a verb. It's one of those irregular verbs. So it's not feeled with an E D. No, it's felt. F E L T. So feel, felt, felt. Yesterday you felt something, but right now you feel something. And in all of these cases. To feel is basically to have a sensation. Your body has these nerves, right? And it sends messages up to your brain, and your brain goes, "Oh, I know what that is," or "Ow, that hurts," or "Hey, that's warm." That is to feel something. All right, you feel things with your hands, of course, but you also feel things with your skin, right? Your skin can、uh, tell your brain something like, "I feel a cold wind on my skin." Maybe I'll put on a jacket. And even inside your body, you can feel pain. 
you can feel hungry, you can feel tired. This is all basically messages to your brain telling you what's going on in or around your body. For example, I feel so cold. I want to go home and have a hot drink. I feel so cold. I want to go home and have a hot drink. Then hopefully I will feel warm. Feel 是动词，意思是感觉。那跟刚刚我们看到的 fall 过去式长得有点像，对不对 ？Fall 的过去式是 fell, f e l l fell。那 feel 的过去式是 felt, f e l t， 不要搞混喽。那例句意思就是说，我觉得好冷，我想回家喝点热饮。Mm, so, what does the doctor tell her? He tells her what my mom told her when my wrist bent back. <laughs> he tells her, ah, so he understands now. He knows what、mm-hmm. the problem is. He says, ah, you sprained it. Yes, to sprain something, it's kind of like break, but it's not as serious. Basically, it happens at the parts. Where your body will normally bend,、uh-huh. but you bend it a little too far, you stretch out all this stuff that connects your bones and muscles, and then you get a sprain. Sprained wrists, sprained ankles, ankles. sprained、oh, knees. All these parts of our body that help us move, they can get sprained. 嗯，这时候呢，医生就搞清楚 Phoebe 是发生什么事情了。他说啊，你扭伤它了。So as I mentioned, it might not be as serious as breaking a bone, but it can take a long time to get better, like when you break a bone. So Phoebe, now she knows the problem. That's one thing, but she also wants to fix herself. She wants to get better as quickly as possible. So she asks, "What should I do?" She wants the doctor's advice about how she can get better quickly. Hmm.、Mm, Phoebe 就问医生说，那我该怎么做呢？我该怎么办 ？Well, the good news here is the doctor says it's not serious. Okay,、uh-huh. she can move it, so that's a good sign. If it was really serious,、uh-huh. she might not be able to move it at all. So he says it's not.、Serious. Serious, it's not too bad. Just put some ice on it and don't use it for a few days. Wrap it up,、ah. wear it in a cast, whatever. Don't bend it. Don't do sit-ups or anything like that. <laughs> put some ice on it. And yeah, maybe four or five yeah, days. Yeah, maybe it's a bit swollen. A week. It'll yeah.、Hmm. Right now, it might be a little puffy, a little big or swollen, and it'll go down eventually. And hopefully, in a week or two, it'll be. Just as good as new, as we mentioned there, the doctor said it's not serious. 嗯，医生说这不太严重，冰敷它 ，put ice on it， 然后几天不要用手腕就好喽。Okay, so it's not serious. Her wrist is not serious, but serious is a word power word. S E R I O U S. S E R I O U S. So serious is an adjective, and well, we can use it in a Several different ways, but in this way, when we're talking about it's not serious, it's not a serious accident. It means it's not really bad. It's not really dangerous. It's not something that will kill you, or you know, we don't have to keep you in the hospital. That's what we talk about when we talk about a serious injury or a serious accident or something like that. We can also say, kind of say that serious means important. This is a serious thing I'm talking about. This is a serious problem. Problem. This is a big problem. It's something that can't be ignored. We have to take care of it. But if something isn't serious, then it's not too bad. Don't worry about it, but not too much. For example, this isn't a serious problem. Don't worry about it. This isn't a serious problem. Don't worry about it. 那我们看到今天最后一个单词 serious， 它是一个形容词，在今天的文章里呢，它的意思是严重的。那通常可以用来形容伤口或者是问题等等。那例句的意思就是说，这不是一个严重的问题，别担心了。All right. So now Phoebe has listened to the doctor's advice. She knows it's not serious. She knows she should put ice on it and rest it for a few、yeah. days. As she's getting ready to leave, she asks the doctor. Is that all? Basically, are are we finished? Do you have any more advice or things that I should do, or can I can go I、home? can I can I go? <laughs> okay. Can、mm, I go? Is okay. that all? Yeah, I think that's all. Okay, Phoebe, 好像不太相信哦。他就说，就就这样吗 ？Is that all? So, uh, 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 and then the、go. doctor says. Anyway, so then the doctor says, yes, yeah, that's all. Yes, that's it. I have nothing more to tell you. And then he says, it should get better by itself. So basically, there's no. We don't have to do an operation. You don't need medicine. You don't have to come back、oh. in a week to see me again. 
do the ice thing. Don't move it around for a few days. Mm -hmm. It should be fine. I'll see you sometime in the future, but not next week. It's not serious. Remember. Hmm. Maybe Phoebe's young, so she can get better by herself. Oh, absolutely. Hmm. I love this doctor. He believes in the ability of sick people. He says, "Yes, he he can do it himself. He can get better by himself." He says, "Yes, he he can do it himself." He says, "Yes, he he can do it himself." He says, "Yes, he he can do it himself." He says, "Yes, he he can do it himself." He says, "Yes, he he can do it himself." He says, "Yes, he he can do it himself." He says, "Yes, he he can do it himself." He says, "Yes, he he can do it himself." He says, Okay, 说 Phoebe 就说，好吧，感谢你，马丁医生。And the doctor says goodbye too, but he gives her a bit of advice along with that. He says, "You're welcome, Phoebe." And then he adds, "Be careful when you exercise in the future." Absolutely, <laughs> exercise is good. Staying in shape is good. But hurting yourself while doing that, well, that's not going to help you in the long、mm, run. That's not good. Okay, 医生跟他说，不客气 ，Phoebe。那以后运动要小心了。All right. Well, that's it for today. But we do have our magic box, so let's go to the magic box now, and then we'll come back to wrap things up. We're not going to wrap up our wrists, are we? No. No. no okay. No.